Welcome to Ag Biotech University. Welcome back to Ag Biotech University. My name is Barry Tanner, and today I'm going to do a short video discussing how to correctly identify the diamondback moth. Diamondback moth is an economically important pest in crucifer crops where it causes damage every year to major acreages of, of uh, cabbage, uh, collards, kale, and crops such in that order. Um, the diamondback moth will feed and leave little tiny holes throughout the leaves, damaging the crop and making it pretty much unsellable, um, which is a major impact upon the growth of those particular crops. Looking at the adult of the diamondback moth, the adult has three small black triangles on its wings. Uh, these three triangles, when the wings are put together, will form three yellow diamonds on the back. And that's why it is actually called a diamondback moth is because of the way the wing pattern on the actual diamondback moth formed that uh, pattern. Um, looking at the size of the actual moth, it's about one third of an inch in length from the head to its tail. And at the tail region, it typically holds that tail uh, wings up a little bit toward the end. So that's one of the diagnostics of finding that you have diamondback moths because when you're walking through the fields, sometimes you'll see these little um, moths flying around throughout the canopy of the crop. And that, that'll tell you, you got probably a problem happening or about to happen. Um, then the most diagnostic on the, on the knowing if you have diamondback moths is whether or not you have the actual larvae in the crop. The larvae are very small. They're less than a third of an inch. They have four instars, first, second, third, fourth, and then pupa. Um, they're, like I said, they're small. They're pointed on each end and fat in the middle. Um, the younger larvae tend to be kind of a goldish brown, but as they get more mature, they definitely turn darker green. Um, so you know, that's one of the things you could do. And I, actually, if you were to touch these larvae on the back of the sides of the leaves where they predominantly are found, they will actually spin a little web and go down that web and go to the silk threads. And then they will actually come back up those threads to get back on the leaf once they're undisturbed or doesn't feel like they're threatened anymore. Um, so that's that little wiggling and falling is kind of diagnostic. As far as what the actual larvae look like, like I said, they're very, very small. Um, but at the very end, there's a set of prolegs on that very last segment. There's two, two prolegs that will form a V pattern if you look very, very closely. Um, so hopefully this will give you enough information to identify diamondback moths within the crop itself. Thank you for uh, attending and uh, have a good day. Learn more at agbitech.us forward slash university.